welcome to Sex and the Simmer, the only internet cooking show that allows you to indulge both your appetite and your sex drive. Alright, so you might be thinking to yourself, what's the point of having a food and sex show combo? I mean, doesn't that sound perverted? Isn't that disgusting? No, and here's why. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but all I want to do after a good lay is go have a sandwich. What's the point of a dinner date if not to, like, take the person home afterwards? I mean, really. I've been told that the best way to learn how to give oral pleasure to a lady is to practice on a peach. Oh, it's true, look it! But in all seriousness, it makes sense to combine food and sex because, you know, you still get dopamine coming from, you, you know, your pleasure centers when you have an amazing meal or when you're having an amazing orgasm. So why not combine the two? So on Sex in the Simmer, we're going to make our best concerted effort to, with every meal that we make, have some kind of sexual corollary. Today, we're going to be roasting chicken. So with roasting chicken, we're also going to be stuffing the chicken. Let's start with a whole bird. It's a five pounder or so. And so the first thing that we need to do is we need to rinse it off. And you want to make sure that whatever is, might be stuffed inside the chicken is removed, all the organs and whatnot. Rinse that sucker off. I grew up on stovetop, just like a lot of other people did. But, you know, making dressing is hella more delicious than anything that's going to come out of a box. So I have a loaf of crusty bread, and I'm just going to cube it, like I'm doing right now with this nice bread knife. For a couple of people to dine on some nice stuffing, this is the perfect amount. It's perfect date stuffing. Key ingredients to any good stuffing are celery, onion, and you know, your melange of spices. Let's talk about my anus more often. So I'm chopping lateral lines into the onion. And I'm gonna go and chop it like this. And then we have a really easy dice. Let's talk about this vegetable stock that I'm gonna put in. It is pretty... Looks a little milky, looks a little interesting, but it is delicious, and I, I assure you that it's wonderful. Next step is to get your, uh, just like any good sexual encounter, is to get your hands dirty a little bit. So you gotta reach in there, and you gotta make this stuffing basically your bitch. Let's do a little nice little once over, a little crop dust of that. Got our pepper mill, I'm gonna give it a little whirl here. Grind it. Work it. My mom swears by poultry seasoning for any kind of stuffing, so we're just gonna do that. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, powdered rosemary to it also. As the uh, piece de resistance, we're gonna add some orange scented cranberries. Let's mix that in. Got your sweet and your sour going on. Also, for you uh, male watchers out there, you know, the orange scented cranberry can do a lot for. I'm gonna move this to a dry surface. And there's a feather that we're trying to get out. It's good to pad dry the old chicken because if you just add your spices and seasoning on top of any kind of moisture, you're not gonna get a crispy, delicious skin on top of the chicken. And nobody wants well, that. Well, you said skin, so oh. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is... No, no, there's no force in my thing. All you want to do to create a crispy, delicious outside is by, you know, balming the outside with some olive oil. Oh, lube that bitch up. Lube that bad boy up. Lube him good. And then you just want to lightly dust chicken with some salt on the outside. That'll take the moisture out of the skin and crisp it up very, very nicely. We're going to set the chicken inside a nice little dish with wrapped around some aluminum foil. Stuff this bitch. Take said stuffing and we're just gonna load that in like so. Take this cooking twine, I'm gonna wrap it around little chicken's leg here and do a little quick tie. She doesn't have a safe word so this is fine until she says different. And we're just gonna stick her in the oven and uh, see what happens. So here we go. While we're talking about stuffing a chicken, it seems pertinent and responsible to talk about stuffing yourself. So let's talk about condom safety. What I'd like to do is just sort of stress the ability of a condom. I can take this condom, this generic thing, 
And I can, without any real difficulty, wrap it down. Hi! Hi, Mom. It's going down my forearm. I feel like Rosie the Riveter with a condom on my hand. Let's talk about lube. Silicone-based lube, for instance. It's very tacky. What I prefer is a water-based lube. It's like a slip and slide. Once I'm done with dinner and once I'm done with the lube, I, I don't want to feel it on my body anymore. I'm just sort of over it. I mean, if you like sticky tacky, it's still fine. It's still safe. You can still use it. It's just a matter of preference at this point. Speaking of silicone, let's uh, get this chicken out of the oven. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm, chicken. You can see that your skin is crisp. It's got a lot of salt still on the outside and that's uh, helped to dry out the skin and keep the inside moist. Just like you want to be if you're having Why am I good at this? I can't. Thanks for tuning in everybody and remember to bag it before you stuff it. See you next time.